Hello people, I am Nero Comic Book Gamer, and welcome to my new series called Something New. Something new is to where I take a book that I am unfamiliar with the characters or the world, and then I just discuss it, because generally I do comic book reviews to where they're coming at you from someone who is familiar with the world and the characters and is a big fan of them, and this is just to where I'm completely new to this world, and I thought, hey, let's do a discussion over it. So yeah, first off is Saga Volume 1, which had been suggested to me by a ton of different people, and so I was like, okay, I need to read that, so I bought it, and then I thought, hmm, let's make this a regular thing. Why don't I just do make this a series to where I just discuss something new? So yeah, Saga Volume 1. The three main characters are Alana right here, the baby Hazel, and then Marco. Uh, these two are married, obviously, and that's their baby Hazel. So yeah, those are the three main characters, although Hazel doesn't do a whole lot, but she is a focus point of the story. But anyways, I will be getting into spoilers as well for this, so you've been warned. So yeah, let's get into it. This book opens up with Alana and Marco. Marco just in this garage while Lana's giving birth to Hazel and while they're doing that these people are banging on the garage doors like a garage as in a garage at like an auto parts place uh, not a garage as in like just where you pull up at your house but anyways they're banging on the doors like hey you know we know you fugitives are in there and it turns out it's a talking TV that's a humanoid and uh, and like Thanagarians I don't know what they're called I don't remember but they got wings and so I call them Thanagarians anyways uh, they break in and Marco's like dang it I was told I'd have this place the whole time by the grease monkey and it turns out an actual monkey is with them and it's the grease monkey uh, Marco was talking about then these goat people appear, and they start fighting the TV slash Thanagarians, and then they all kill each other, except the monkey got shot, but is barely alive. I know this sounds really weird if you are if you haven't read the book. It was weird to me as well, but stay with me. Anyways, uh, the monkey's like, oh no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, you know, to rat you out, but here's a, something to maybe make it up for you. Here's a map to the rocket ship for us. I think that's what it's called. Either way, it's the same difference, just different words. Anyways, uh, a lot was like, hey, we can use that map to go to the rocket ship forest and get off this planet. Marco's like, yeah, I don't think the rocket ship forest exists. Um, so, yeah, that's the premise of the story. The most basic way I could tell you the story is Alana and Marco are fugitives, and they have a baby, and their goal is to get off this planet by going to the rocket, rocket ship forest, and that's what this story is about on the most basic level. Now, uh, it gets more advanced going into it later on. So yeah, after that, we see, we cut to two TVs having sex. I'm not even joking. That's actually what happens. Like, this book, again, it's brand new to me, so when I'm reading this, I'm like, what is going on here? Uh, <laughs> because it, it was a little strange. Well, it's really strange when you just see two TVs just having sex. It was... It was a lot different. So anyways, we find out that one of the TVs is the prince of, uh, her race. Like, well, like, it's weird, because the TVs rule her race. It's, it's a little different, uh, since, you know, obviously she's not a TV head. But anyways, we find out that Marco and Alana's races are at war, and have been at war for a good amount of time, and that's why they're being hunted, because what happened was Marco was a prisoner of war, and Alana was his prison guard. Well, they fell in love, got married, then had a baby, and so they're both going against their races, her so more than him, because, you know, she was the one who broke him out of prison and is now running away with him, and so, yeah, that's, that's not too good. Sort of Romeo and Juliet thing a bit, and yeah, then after that, we run into this guy called The Will. He just goes and he's got this thing called a lying cat, which just can tell when you're lying, and says lying. It's a, like a big greenish cat that's really cool. And so, yeah, uh, the will kills this giant monster, and then this unicorn lady pops out of nowhere and is like, hey, you killed the monster, you passed the test, you want this job, here you go. And then he gets contacted by his agent, because the will is a bounty hunter. And uh, yeah, he gets contacted by his agent like for bounty hunting, and his agent's like, well, there's also this person called the stock on the case. I know you and the stock have a... Uh, have a thing, well, had a thing, so you might not want to take the case and stuff, just warning him that the stock is on the case. Also, yeah, the bounty hunters have the before their name. That's why he's the will, and the stock is the stock. But anyways, later we see that the stock is this weird spider-looking lady, and it, let me tell you, it is one of the coolest designs I have ever seen in comics. Like, the stock has such a unique and awesome and creepy design. I love it. She's this uh, spider lady that has no arms, so her upper half has no arms, 
arms, and I think she has multiple eyes, I don't remember, and uh, her lower extremities is spiders, she's got like a ton of legs, and she's really creepy and cool looking, like I really love the stock's design, and I don't know if I'll show a picture of her, because I have to censor some stuff out, because she is topless, but yeah, the stock is this really cool bounty hunter, and the will's like, screw it, you know, we all know they're all dead if the stock is on the case, so I'm not going to take the job. And then we see the stock gets to um, gets to them, well, them being, you know, Marco and Alana, and then once the stock gets to them, things don't go so well for them. They're like, oh, crap, this lady's going to kill us. But then some other forces intervene, and then these kids show up, and they're ghost kids because, the play again, this is a discussion video for me, so the, like, layout of the video probably isn't too great. I'm sorry the structure of this video may not be too great, but I hope you guys still enjoy it because, uh, again, this is just me discussing a comic that I've never, ever read before within a world I've never, ever read before. But anyways... Back to it. Uh, what happens is they're in this forest and they heard these rumors about like these monsters killing people, but it turns out it's just ghost kids. But there's a fight prior to that, and prior to that, well, during that fight, Marco got hit and he's almost dead. And like, uh, Alana's like, oh crap. Well, Alana's like, oh crap, what am I gonna do? And so this ghost kid's like, hey, I can help you because she asks Marco, what can you do? Because Marco can cast spells. That's like part of what his uh, race can do. And Marco's like, I need snow in order to heal a wound like this. And the kid's like, hey, I can get you some snow. Just one thing, I'm gonna need to bond with your baby because this kid is a ghost and the only way for her to like get off planet is she needs to bond with a host and then she'll leave the kid later on and at first Alana's like no I'm not gonna do that but then she's like okay I'll I'll do it because I want to save my husband uh, and also we find out during the book that Marco is a pacifist he used to be like a beast during the day but he did some stuff he's not too proud of and so he's like okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay away from this, and I'm going to be, you know, a pacifist. And so the kid helps him. Obviously, Marco gets healed because there's like f four or five other volumes of this, and uh, Mar and they're fine. And then they find the battle, the uh, <laughs> they find the rocket ship force, and they get off planet. During all this, we also see that the Will is doing his own thing. When he got hired for this job, he got a credit card for all expenses. You know, pay for gas for a ship, what ammo he needs, and stuff like that. Uh, so this unlimited credit card, he goes and he's like, I'm just going to blow it on hookers until they uh, they take away my card. Because why not? I'm not going to do this job anyway since the stock is on the case. Also, the stock got killed. Yeah, the, the Prince TV head dude that I was talking about earlier, he killed her. Just straight up murdered her. Again, structure of this video probably isn't too great, but yeah. So yeah, the, the TV head that's a prince dude that was having sex earlier, he killed the stock. And we also found out that the Will and the stock used to have, they used to be together. But then they broke up, nasty stuff, and like, we don't really know what entirely went down. It's soon nothing too great. And uh, so yeah, he killed her. The Will's not too happy about that. But anyways, prior to all that happening, the Will was going to blow it all on hookers. He went to this world, and he's like, I don't really like any of this stuff. This is a big letdown. And then this guy's like, hey, I got the stuff you really want. He goes, he takes her, he's like, in this room. And uh, the Will's like, what is this? It turns out it's a child. He's like, you can have your way with her. Do whatever you want. The Will straight up kills that guy. And then uh, is like, okay, kid. Sorry, I keep scratching my face. My face is really itchy. Anyways, the Will's like, okay, I'm getting you out of here, kid. But then he runs into this one chick who gets him into a dilemma to where he can't get off the ship. Well, not the ship. He can't get off the hooker planet. And he's like, oh, no, I need to save this kid. He's like, if you want her, you can buy her for, like, this extreme amount. So he's like, I'm actually going to have to take this bounty in order to save this girl. And then after that, that's when he finds out the stock is dead. Well, he the stock dies when he's talking to her. And so then he accepts the contract. And yeah, that's the book. That's like every that's pretty much everything that happens except skipping over like some stuff. I overall really enjoyed Saga Volume 1. It's a really good book. Um, the world is so interesting, and it's something very new and refreshing. I felt like the image just let Brian K. Vaughn do whatever he wanted. They're like, hey, I mean, I feel like the image was just like, hey, make your dream book. Do whatever you want. He's like, okay, I'm going to have TVs having sex. I'm going to have goat people and these guys with wings, and they're going to fight. And it was like, okay. We'll throw it in a book, and they did, and it's really good. Like, the world is so interesting. Uh, my only, like, complaint that's not, like, a nitpick is the fact that none of the characters besides the Will are really that great. Like, uh, Marco's good, Alana's good, but I didn't really care for them. I wasn't like, okay, these are awesome characters, they got their own solo spinoffs, I would definitely buy them. I was like, 
nah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm just like they're they're cool and all, but they're no they're not characters that I'm like all oh, these guys are awesome. To where the will was so interesting. I loved his story, and the will is my favorite character in the book. He was awesome. I love the will. If they made a solo spinoff book for the will, I would buy it. But if they made one for Mark Ornolana, I'd be like, nah, I'm, I can save my money there. But the will, he's a really cool character and. Like, he's got Lion Cat. Let me see if I can find a picture of a Lion Cat. Or I could just put it up in editing. Yeah, this is taking me too long. I'll just put it up in editing. <laughs> Anyways, a uh, Lion Cat is so cool. It's just like, a Lion Cat just looks really cool. And, like, the facial expressions of Lion Cat is awesome. Again, it's a cat that just can tell when you're lying. And the Will is just such a cool bounty hunter. I can't wait to see him go and, like, try to take down Marco and uh, Alana. Also, during the book, I forgot to mention, Marco, like, goes on this sort of blood rampage when he thinks they're, uh, like, going to kill his wife. He doesn't kill anyone. He just, like, rips off, well, not rips but cuts off body parts and stuff. It's like, whoa, that was cool. I'm really interested to see if they tap into that more like once every book, Marco just goes nuts because like before he can do something he's really going to regret and kill someone, um, she shoots him with a stun gun. Uh, Alana, and she's like, hey, just calm down, you'll regret that, but yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the book, please don't post spoilers in the comments below, because I really do want to follow the series, and I don't want it to be spoiled for me, but yeah, yeah, the voice crack, <laughs> but yeah, I really did enjoy this book, I had a lot of fun with it, I definitely suggest you guys, but not younger readers, no, there's some, there's some stuff in there that you should not be seeing, uh, so yeah, it's a very adult book, but it's really good, it, it's a, definitely an enjoyable book, Next, I'm probably going to do Witches by Scott Snyder for something new, because I have that right over there, and I'm probably going to read that next and uh, do that on something new. I don't know how often I'm going to be able to do this, hopefully once a week, but again, I'm not made of money, so I'm not going to constantly have a book, but hopefully I'll be able to do this once a week. We'll see. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be any books either. It can be, like, anything if there's just some character that I haven't read. Like, Iron Fist, I might do one for Iron Fist. Iron Fist, I haven't really read anything about Iron Fist. I've only read some stuff with him in, like, team books, but as far as his solo series goes, I heard he's got a really good one, and I have never read it, so I might do something like that. Again, series doesn't have to be all indie books, but a good amount of it probably will. So yeah, that's it for something new. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this. Do you like this new series? Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like.